last little, well, not the last wake up spot, but maybe the last one in snow. You never know. Not definitely not, you reckon? <laughs> well, anyway, we just this is the first morning we vlogged yesterday, so this is the first morning waking up. We're not actually vlogging today, but um, we'll probably film a few clips on our drive home. However, I did just want to film that when I came out of the van this morning, there's this van, van, there's this bag here on the floor. You can't actually pick it up. I tried to pick it up and pop it in the bin because there's just a bin over there. It's not our bag, obviously, but I did try and just clean it up anyway. But you can't actually get it out of the ground. Like it's obviously really, really deep, stuck in the snow. So goodness knows how long that's been here. It's probably been here since like October or something. Yeah, definitely. But, but I was more intrigued about this little thing here. And also <laughs> this that's next to it <laughs> that looks like it's a bone of some sort, but it's not ha ra it's not a bone. It's like, look, it moves. It might be a fish. Do you think it's a fish bone or something? Guys, anyway, I wanted to vlog it because I thought one of you knowledgeable lot might know exactly what this is. It's obviously been here the whole of winter. And now that the snow's starting to melt a little, it's exposed. But yeah, what is that? Comment down below if you know what it is and let me know. It's like some sort of fish bone, I think. Anyway, we're about to get on the road. What? <laughs> we're about to get on the road. Such a beautiful day today. We've traveled about two and a half hours so far since we slept last night. We sat off pretty late in the afternoon. We chilled way too long today, but from where we slept last night in Sweden, we've traveled two and a half hours and we've just reached the border of the Arctic Circle, which is really sad, really, really sad. So right now, the van is still in the Arctic Circle because we're still behind the sign. But we're about to leave and say goodbye to this beautiful land for another year. And I feel super sad about that. Like super, super sad. Have oh, y'all come to join me? Yes. Okay, oh, everyone needs to touch the sign. I just left the Arctic Circle. I'm not in the Arctic Circle. I'm in the Arctic Circle. Right, now. Whoa. <laughs> got it, I got it, yeah. <laughs> right, ready? Look, I'm in the Arctic, I'm half in the Arctic Circle, and it's half not. <laughs> oh, wow, man. What a place. It's, it's, it's so sad to be leaving, but it's such a beautiful day to be leaving. It's gorgeous. Guys, we were really hoping Whoa. to. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> we were... <laughs> Guys, we were hoping to have a vlog up today. It's just not a vlog. It's just a little catch up. Um, it's been a long, long few days. In fact, I think we've driven pretty much six hours a day. Obviously, we have to stop every like two hours maximum. So driving six hours a day actually takes us the whole full day. Yeah, it takes a long time. And we've done that solidly Next six days now. Is it longer than five days? Five or five six days? days? No, yeah, no, I, I, I'm, to, I'm, not, I'm not actually talking about today. I was talking about from yesterday. We drove solidly oh. doing that six hours a day, all day long, every day for five days solid. And we're still in Sweden. 
we're now in Germany. We had, yeah, so it's now six days. So we're we're in Germany now, and we're going to see Uncle Paul today, which is absolutely fantastic. We're all very excited to go and see Uncle Paul. Okay, we might see them and then tomorrow we're actually jumping on the ferry home we just got that all booked so we've got the ferry booked home we're going to be jumping on that tomorrow and what, what are you pulling that face it's for? actually been a week no, it's been, yeah it has been it's a week it's actually been a whole week we're driving for a week Since guys you don't you never it's all fun and games well, isn't it, it trips then, to the act you can see you've got to drive back home it was that day that we went to the, the boat never thing, underestimate the blooming skies the oh. size of Scandinavia. To be fair, I do actually need to point out that we wasted one whole day, didn't we? Uh, oh. we so one, one. one night we went out for dinner, guys, <laughs> right? So we went out for dinner, and then after dinner, everyone was in good spirits. And like, Wait, this, was just like, drive this is like the second, night, second day on the road. I was in good spirits. Everyone's like, should we drive another couple of hours? We're like, yeah, let's get another couple of hours down. You know, it's so long. The, the timer on the sat nav is just not going down. It's blooming like 40 hours in total or something. Look, Scandinavia is massive. Let's just point that out. It is so big. So let's do another couple of hours. So we did. We parked up and we're all feeling so good. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so buzzing. It felt like an extra. Like, you know, wow, we just got down another couple of hours. <laughs> yes, that we weren't expecting to get down. We don't need to tell this story. This is so good, like, fantastic. And then we all get cups of teas. We I have a bit of our wind away. down. Literally, then it's bedtime. Dad turns lights It's off. bedtime. I'm in bed getting Aurora to sleep. Everyone else is in bed. Dad pops his head on the back. Let me just give mine first. He pops his head on the back and he goes, I'm sure Aurora's going to sleep. I need it quiet when I'm getting Aurora to sleep. He goes, no, babe, babe. What? I've left the MacBook in the restaurant. So then we have the whole night to wait to see if our MacBook's actually been stolen, which I didn't sleep a wink. Is the camera foggy? I didn't sleep a wink, worrying about that. And then... Obviously, I couldn't edit or do anything. Chris couldn't edit anything, do any work, nothing. All of the like programs and things he needs were already on that macbook and then we wake up the next morning call find out thankfully the macbook had been handed in or found they they had it behind the counter so we had to drive back two hours didn't we and then back two hours to get and then back two hours to get back on track <laughs> sorry babe basically the macbook was at the side of chris on the seat and i i do actually remember chris saying where's the macbook gone and then one of the girls said, oh, Jace just moved it. Jace had picked it up and moved it to another seat. Out of sight, out of mind, clearly. Yeah, so then obviously later when we got up to leave the restaurant, we forgot yeah. it was on the other seat. We forgot it was on the other side. So that was fun. That yeah. was a fun day. But that wasn't the first time I've done that. What happened in summer 22 when we came to Germany with my Uncle Paul. I don't and we know. drove two, hour, two and a half hours away from my Uncle Paul. Only to realise we'd left the MacBook in the restaurant we were at with Monk Paul. So we had to drive two and a half hours back and pick it up. Oh, yeah, we did. Remember, so that's not the first time I've done that. This is very embarrassing. So it's the curse of Uncle Paul? Oh, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Paul, that's a start on. <laughs> anyway, guys, long story short, Scandinavia, do it. Get it on your bucket list. You have to visit that once in a lifetime. You have to see those sites. If you're in a position to be able to go on a trip this year, consider Scandinavia because it's fantastic. Just don't underestimate the drive home. It's monstrous. It's a monster. Especially if you're travelling with young children. If it was just me and you, like Chris is like, I just drive through the night. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not with us in the car. But if it was just him or just me and him, we could just drive, 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 drive. But you can't do that when you've got young children. So it's been a travel. It's been a travel home. We're going out for a fun day today with Uncle Paul, which everyone's in good spirits and feeling excited about. We're jumping yeah. on the ferry home tomorrow. And then we'll be back home. Oh, the ferry's going to be so nice tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, we're actually jumping on a daytime ferry. We're, at, we're back to vlogging now, so the vlogs are back. As of tomorrow, we're vlogging today, so the vlogs are back. So tomorrow there'll be a vlog, etc. But yeah, we have booked a daytime ferry. You didn't actually need to book rooms because it's a daytime ferry. When you're going out there, you have to book a room because it's an overnight ferry and they don't allow sleeping in the communal areas but on the way back because it's a daytime ferry you don't need to book a room but we decided should we just do it yeah. it's a long ferry let's oh, do nice, it we can nice have a nice chill. chill in the rooms we'll have our own space and we get mini bar uh, mini fridges with drinks and stuff like that as well which is pretty cool yeah we did book the nice room we yeah. booked what, what's it called the captain suite captain or something sweet. that nice room that we had on the way out we decided to just book that again on the way back but it's actually a really good price wasn't it yeah really good it's actually a really Super good price good. for can't believe it to be honest it was like half the price that we paid to come out coming out yeah 
Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say the price, but then I was thinking no, because half of you guys are like, well, what's the price? Because I know if I was watching somebody mm. vlogging this, I'd be curious. I'd be like, oh, well, what is the price then? And, I'd be, and then I'd be left feeling irritated that they didn't say the price because I'd want to know. But then I know half of them will be like, well, it was that's not cheap. And then, and then it'll start a big debate. And then half and the other, and the other half, you know, the extra half that don't belong in the hall, they'll be like, oh, they're just gloating, blah, 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 blah. So then I never know. So then I always feel like when I'm saying something like this, I never know if to actually give the price. I'm not going to bother. Right. Where no, it's cool. It's fine. It was £798 to go out. £798. £398 out. to go back. So it was yeah. a mega difference. So it's half, pretty much half the price. Anyway, that was for two rooms though. Because yeah. we obviously need two yeah, rooms because we're a family. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, come back tomorrow because we'll be jumping on that ferry and having a nice nummy day back home. Okay, so there is a vlog tomorrow. So we're vlogging today. No upload on Monday as usual. So thank you all so much for watching. And we'll see you back here tomorrow at 5pm. Good night, guys. Mwah.